basic equipment for soccer is just simple shin guards and cleats. Now the proper size for a shin guard has to be like three fingers front and three fingers down to your uh, heel foot. Um, that's a good size, regulation size. Now the difference between soccer cleats and most other cleats like football is that the like soccer cleats, baseball and football, they'll have like spikes. And that's the main difference between the equipment. Alright, I want to explain to you guys real quickly the seven members and their functions, okay? Uh, going from your goalie to the uh, opponent's goal, okay? We have the goalie, which can hold the ball anywhere within this box. Outside the box, he cannot carry it. He must play like a regular player. Um, here we have the sweeper, which his job is to pretty much sweep up the trash that gets passed. If the ball gets passed there, this is the guy's job to get it before the goalie can. Um, then you have your fullbacks, and their job is to send it forward. Um, then you have your stopper, who also stops the ball from moving. And he's the main guy, as well as the sweeper, who commands the entire defense of your team. Then you have your halfbacks, which these guys got to be really fast and really endurance, because they have to move back and forward with the ball. Whichever side the ball is on, that's where these guys got to be at to help defend or offend. Um, then you have your two centers. And their job is to mainly control the ball and mainly to score. The ball movement should go to your full or your uh, yeah your forwards, and their job is just to simply cross it right in front of the goalie. Just keep crossing it back and forth, and hopefully their two centers will headbutt it or something get into the goal before the the uh, defense will actually stop them and do the exact thing that they to them, send the ball back here, and it just keeps on going back and forth motion. Somebody scores. The greatest things that a player can learn about soccer is how to control their ball. Because uh, you don't want to go wildly because then your opponent will actually snatch it from you. So one of the coolest things you can do, okay, it's nice and simple too. Um, and I don't know its name, but the only thing you got to do is just touch your foot like this and switch over to the other foot. And the object is not to allow your ball to move too much. Here's what it should look like once you get good, okay? The ball is standing in one place for the most part. Each time, keep in contact with it. But if you kick too much, you'd actually lose the ball and it's harder to control. And, like I said, you lose it, which is not a good idea. talk about soccer is how to properly kick a ball to a teammate or even in for a goal. Um, in order to kick a banana kick, which is kind of sophisticated, you have to kick it on the heel part, the toe, and kick it towards the side. And it'll, you actually will curve the ball and it will spin like a banana. Um, but most people don't use that kind of kick because it's hard to control. Um, but in order to kick it to a teammate, you want to use the actual inside right here where it's nice and flat. You want to actually hang for the middle of the soccer ball. And when you do it, you want to plant your foot and then follow through with the other one. So you have this nice, even curve. It's barely straight from the ground. All right, I'll demonstrate this real quick. I'll then demonstrate how to actually catch a ball. You notice that with the same way as we kick the ball, what we're going to do is actually stop the ball the same way. You just pretty much like cup it in and support it. And then you kick it. Catch and pass. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna do a real kick now. Uh, if you notice the goalie, he will be on his knees, like not on his knees, but bending his knees and on his toes. And move around a little bit, just so he stays uh, fluid. Because uh, if you stay on your heels and whatnot, it'll take you an extra second to get on your toes and then to go. Um, so, you want to be quick about it, because it is soccer. Now, if you notice, I'll try to do a banana kick and actually aim it into that goal. Alright, here we go. 